Argument is an aspect of creation. Rabbi Nachman of Bretzlav, the 18th century Hasidic master, starts one of his famous essays with the statement that argument is an aspect of creation. Rabbi Nachman takes from Kabbalistic teachings and explains that in order for God to create the world, God had to contract God's self. God filled all the space of the world. There was no room for any creation. And the only way for there to be space for creation was through the divine act of tzimtzum, of contraction. God's own sacredness had to be contracted to make space for the creation of the world. Rabbi Nachman goes on and explains that that act of contraction was exactly what rabbinic scholars did. When rabbinic scholars were in the Beit Midrash, in the house of study, arguing with one another, if there had been only one opinion, if one scholar had just kept stating his opinion, it would have taken up all the space and there would have been no space for others. The comparison that Rabbi Nachman makes between God and rabbinic scholars is a radical one. And what Rabbi Nachman is saying is that the very act of argument, the act of letting other opinions into the Beit Midrash was very similar to the act of creation. When God created the world, God had to contract. God had to take his oneness and allow for manyness in the world. Just as though the scholar who walks into a Beit Midrash and believes that he has the right opinion has to contract that one opinion and make space for other opinions. What I find even more beautiful about this idea is not only about the God or the Torah scholar contracts oneself, but in fact, when God contracts himself, God is no less sacred. When we think about modern day discourse, when we think about arguments today, when I offer my opinion, when I hold strong to a certain opinion even, I must allow for the other opinion to come in. And allowing for the other opinion, listening to another opinion, does not take away from the sacred value of my own opinion, but it does allow for creativity and for creation to happen. And what we learn from Rabbi Nachman is the only way that we can create in the world and the only way we can continue the creative process is through healthy arguments.